It's 9.32. I'm already kind of running late for work. I wake up at 10.30. It takes an hour to commute there. And I haven't spoken to a camera or the camera in a while because I've been busy with work, which I'm not allowed to film at. So it's kind of boring. No content there. And then I went to Penghu with my family, which I did film and already upload. Um, but today it's Friday and it's May 14th. I don't know if I already said that. Tomorrow is my cousin Elaine's birthday. So tonight we're having dinner slash drinks to celebrate. But the restaurant slash bar is right by where I work and I live an hour away from where I work commuting So it makes no sense to come back and then go since I work from 10 30 to 8 and like dinner is at 9 I'm just gonna hang out around the area which means I'm already dressed for dinner and I'm wearing my black and white polka dot dress I'm I did my own nails last night and I think they came out pretty good They're just like diagonal colors with some random dots um Yeah just they look good from afar they don't look good up close i have my jewelry on i'm ready for dinner uh it's so hot in taiwan so i don't know how i'm gonna keep my full face of makeup on because i haven't done my makeup in like forever at least not a full face so that's gonna be interesting <laughs> Like really late and then we meet them at the restaurant but it turns out we're having a surprise thing for Elaine and she hasn't even left uh soon Juliet which I thought I wouldn't make it to the surprise party because I it's just too far but turns out she hasn't even left so now I got her early and I'm about to go and meet them at the house for a surprise like thing and then we're going to dinner <gasps> it's kind of a rush and it's been a chaotic day Trying to trend every 
everybody trying to stand out I'm a new trainer just fitting in By the way, used to be friends back in the day You wanna follow me? New user thing Think famous now? Cause I like some drinks looks good But the attitude needs a major change In and out was your favorite place But you like now? How's grass? I don't wanna live my life like an Instagram post I am with spirit and I was taking time I didn't know Not worry about your likes cause I'm trying to get the followers I'm living with no fear of Shade to my vegas You went in the Gucci store and seen the prices now you're leaving Yeah yeah Test driving all these foreign cars Flexing like a chores narrow day on volleyball Your thumbs are way too active You don't have to keep on acting You're only balling after taxes Stop photo shopping yourself in front of those mansions You don't wanna live my life like an Instagram post Lot of people spending hours taking time and eating knows Not worry about your likes cause I'm trying to get the follows I'm living with no filter Good morning everybody, today is Monday, May 17th and I'm actually in Xinzhou right now because Taiwan uh, or certain cities in Taiwan have been told to go into level 3 lockdown which means working from home for anyone who is not like essential or their job isn't essential and everyone is abiding by these rules so they are self quarantining not going out at all like eating at home or cooking at home uh working from home which means like that includes me uh we're trying to reduce public transportation for people who can and i came back to Xingzhou last saturday and i'll probably be staying here for a week depending on the work from home situation and uh, so today like i got up and i'm sitting in front of my laptop i'm ready to work for an entire day which is gonna be a little bit more difficult because when i'm at work like if i don't really understand something whether it's in chinese or uh related to whatever i'm doing i can usually ask my coworkers and they can explain to me like right then and there but now that we're like communicating over uh like messages it's a little bit harder uh which means i have to just rely on my own chinese skills so we're going to be putting that to use but i actually kind of am enjoying this because i don't have to get ready like i don't have to change my clothes <laughs> um or i get to wear whatever i want and because i'm not gonna go out this entire week or i'm trying not to go out i will be doing a makeup free week i get to just let my face relax i'm only doing my eyebrows and it's gonna be clear skin for this entire week uh yeah i'll check in whenever i have anything exciting going on see you guys whatever that is get the follows i'm living with no filter living i'm living Okay, so something really fucking shocking happened like I'm literally recording this as my computer is blowing up with text messages So today like I already kind of told you guys about the whole COVID situation And we still had like work to do. It was actually a very busy day They sent like all the stuff they needed like done photoshopped retouched edited whatever blah blah, blah. and right now it's 5 43 and they sent a mass text saying that they're going to hold productions until 2022 um that's a whole ass year they're doing it may 2022 so the show is no longer being filmed right now and we all just lost our jobs like all 58 of us and we're all freaking out messaging each other i'm in shock like i changed my entire flight and everything because of this so now i don't know what to do i can't even like i'm actually speechless uh and in shock like it hasn't settled in yet I don't know you hear my like laptop blowing up with messages so yeah huh I will keep you updated because I don't, I don't know what to say and I kind of want to respond to these messages but shocking
with no filter Okay, hello everybody. It's still the same day, and if you're wondering why I am actually smiley right now, because I took shots. Uh, that's how I'm getting through life right now because Taiwan just sent out an alert that there's not enough electricity So they're gonna start shutting off electricity like within areas and then they're gonna um, Like keep switching back and forth So um, if you didn't know Taiwan is somewhere very very tropical very hot. It's already super super humid So right now what we all did is we're charging all of our appliances laptops phones flashlights mini uh, fans and we're turning on the air conditioning to full max like fastest air possible at like 20 degrees so it could be freezing cold in here so when it turns off we still have somewhat decent air because I don't know how I'm gonna get through this day uh, knowing that one I lost my job to there's not gonna be power uh, question mark three COVID four everything is just a shit show I'm not drunk but I, my face is kind of red so yeah, that's kind of the update on my life right now. Isn't that so exciting? Just when I thought I didn't have content to film, the world was like, we'll feed you content. Okay, hi everybody. Today is May 19th. It's Wednesday. It's been a day since I like vlogged what the frick ever happened on Monday because that was just really chaotic. But I finally, I think I have my emotions under control and am able to tell a story of what happened or not a story of just like an update of what happened but here's the thing so Taiwan has been at a really good COVID like regulation period compared to the rest of the world they were doing a really good job everybody was uh, healthy things were under control and then all of a sudden now that the rest of the world is starting to open back up, Taiwan like wanted to start opening back up and shit kind of hit the fan. So COVID cases st are starting to increase, not at a really scary rate, just at an increasing rate. But to them, they're freaking out, uh, which like, you know, they have every right to be. So they're like closing everything down or putting people on lockdown, sending everybody to work from home. Uh, which is why like the way they're handling it now is very efficient which is why they were able to get things under control the first time and I give props to the government and the country for all of that but that obviously does affect some people and it did affect me which I didn't think that was ever gonna happen because I was like oh I'm kind of just here hanging out but it did uh, so yeah on Monday we were working on oh, like at work I was still working on everything from home they sent everybody to work from home who are not essential workers and there can't be gathering of more than five people uh excluding supermarkets and anything that is like considered essential the point is like no big gatherings including like family if it's not already like um if you guys aren't already living together that's what i was trying to say so on monday we were working from home i was actually really busy working on a bunch of stuff and then at 5 p.m they sent a mass text to our production team saying that because of COVID cases and the regulation that there can't be gatherings and they don't want to go against the government they really want to uh bring down the COVID cases as a country that they just don't think filming this year would be possible so they are postponing productions and filming all the way until may of 2022 so that's pretty much a whole year from now and that came as like a very shocking news just because no one saw it coming we were all still like working it's like during the day so like this really just hit us out of nowhere we were all super shocked which was why there was like a bunch of messages coming in from everybody 
and then slowly today is wednesday so tuesday monday night and tuesday like the whole day they started giving more information about like what we're doing next which is just ha handing over all of the stuff that we've done properly putting in folders labeling them and they are like next year when they start filming again we not we they will still probably have the rights to the show and it's probably going to still be the same people on the team but this is the thing for me like personally i'm not going to stay in taiwan for a whole ye year and more just to film this show like that was not in the books and i just don't think that's what i want to do even though i was really really excited about this experience uh, i just don't want to stay more than that to do this thing uh i i, I just don't think it's worth it that's pretty much what i came to the conclusion but like i'm still really really happy and grateful that i got to have this experience because honestly yesterday i didn't like film anything which i could have given an update yesterday but i was just really devastated like i was really really sad the whole day i did cry even like even though it's like it's just a job blah, blah blah um i had a really great experience i learned so much i had a fun time like if you've seen on my instagram like i'm posting about all the fun things that i do at work and i really enjoyed it learned a lot love my co-workers it was just a really great experience and i didn't think that it was going to end so soon so it was more shocking that it was coming to an end and thinking that i might not be able to see these people for a while uh or at least not work with them in the same environment anymore it really just kind of hurts me a little uh i was crying a lot like i already said but you know what it's okay i think this is what happens when there's a fucking pandemic oh shit i'm not supposed to cuss ah okay whatever i was trying to keep this as like prim and proper as possible but i'm still emotional so cussing is going to happen um yeah today or like for the rest of this week we technically still have to work we're doing like a transition period which i already like kind of mentioned we're just handling every information uh getting in contact cleaning out the offices even though i'm working in shinju like i'm not sure that's how that's gonna happen yet uh but yeah that's pretty much what happened i'm not really sure what i'm going to be doing for the next couple of months because if i'm going to be stuck in taiwan and not be able to go out do taiwan things like that kind of sucks uh but i get it like it's for the better uh the better it's for it's better for everybody and the entire country like i get it i'm doing my part by literally being home i don't think i've left the house in like two days i've just stayed at home i was working watching some netflix reading uh kafka on shore which i can totally give an update about this because i have questions about uh murakami's work just why uh yeah maybe i'll do a reading vlog something fun something that i haven't been able to do because of time i get to finally do I'll let you guys know what i end up doing but yeah so today i spent most of the day reading and now i'm just chilling watching some netflix but we got a notification from the government saying that they're they have to shut off water supply in certain areas and xingzhu city or county is one of them due to lack of usable water because taiwan is in a drought um yeah so now we won't have running water for like two days i don't even know what's happening but this is very chaotic it's been a hectic week i'm just i'm just over it but we're gonna make this work it's a sad day because i'm going back to the office to pick up my stuff and then it's gonna be goodbye from there uh yeah my aunt's taking me we're gonna like take all of our uh covid precautions wearing our mask spraying our hands germex and all uh yeah we're just gonna go pick our, up our stuff and then come back but i think i'm gonna take one last video of where i worked